Hello there, everyone, and thank you for joining me with the start of a new campaign in Kaiser Redux, in which we're playing as William H. Murray. Not quite, but the Constitutional American Republic. I wish we should probably really talk about the new party head first. It's clear that we cannot allow Murray to accept such a deal as nearly all our major backers, especially with the hoo <laughs> leaguers would no longer support us if we allow the Pacific States bureaucrats to run the show. Nonetheless, I'll just have Murray step down quietly under the claim that it's for health-related reasons we've nonetheless need a new head of the party. Two main factions have come forward. The first is the National Democrats, an internal faction of the Old Democrats, led by Charles Lindbergh and Henry Ford, that represent the urban center Old Democrats and claim they can offer heavy industrial support to the war efforts while carrying on the Old Democrat legacy. The second group is the National Democratic uh, Huat League that makes up the various paramilitary societies and other radical organizations supporting the Old Democrats and made up of largely of the KLAN and its various auxiliaries and offshoots. The claim that they can provide the necessary strength and support needed to win the war, no one doubts their desire to bring America under a hoo protestant rule at all costs. The control of the closest entities we add to intelligence services and manpower makes them a lot of force to be reckoned with in KLAN leader, and in fact to most powerful NDWL leader William Joseph Simmons. It was a popular choice for the leader, with Hua League representatives pushing for as we speak. Of course, the third idea has come within the party, and so they support General Patton. That's a new head of state to carry on the old Democrat legacy. The choice only comes down to the Vice President John E. Rankin, to whom the party has made it clear the House would not allow him to take the presidency as a position the ODP gives him. Of course, the power to be the kingmaker while factions split. As you can tell from the thumbnail, I go on the round of support for Patton, Chief of the Army, with the Civil War Lumen. The fact that we now have a Chief of Army is prime of concern among various political leaders, uh, and military leaders as well. Communication continue after choosing the Chief of Staff to appoint Chief of Army to win this war. George Patton, thank you, and treaty with the U.S. of A. Actually, are we getting any tanks here? We're going to need some serious tanks. Even though we're probably going to I'm probably going to screw this up quite a bit, but whatever. I already have tanks. Despite a dislike of the anti-ODP and the anti-NDWL, MacArthur's regime, uh, we are clearly at a disadvantage now that the CSA and AUS have signed a peace treaty due to the Theodore Bill Bo have drawn up 200 days plan, which will grant us 200 day non-aggression pact with the U.S. before we supposedly negotiate a different deal where they'll peacefully recognize our superiority. Yeah, probably for the best. I was trying to get more divisions. I've converted a lot of all the divisions we've raised so far to be... Oh, well, that's not good. Expand the guard. Oh, the AI was doing expand the guard. So, if you're wondering about that, please go ahead. Um, where are we at? Oh, I wonder the leadership of a handsome guy. So far, the only force the ODP has commanded have been small-time militias. With the advent of the Civil War, many generals and army groups have deserted to join the real American government. Adopting or adapting our previous force and hierarchy to these newcomers should be our priority. Patent strategy. Given how outdated the army organizations had become, General Patton has approached us with a reform plan which focused on speed, aggression, and tanks. We'll get to the tanks eventually. Look at this handsome guy. Old blood and guts. The USA declines. We demand we join them at once. This war is seemingly inevitable. Chief of the Air Force. Civil War Lumen, of course, if you remember that, please go ahead. Bert Hall. I don't ever remember what I'd choose. I usually choose Lindbergh. Monty? Okay, with that one. Southern Governors meeting in Atlanta. If you'd like to read about that, please go right ahead, which I know I've read before, but, which is fine. Uh, let's go with him like that. There you go. For Dixie, my friends. For Dixie. You, me, and the land that we call home. Dixie. A couple more divisions. We're going to hit the Federalist militias eventually soon. And then we probably want to do North Carolina? No, not quite. <clears throat> Georgia, probably. Everyone, about a second declaration of independence. Please go right ahead. Thank you very much. Probably a fat five divisions in Georgia. I'm just going to convert them anyways for now. That's fine. And I keep adding more divisions. My goal is to take out the car as fast as possible, if possible. Um, I know we've got probably a few holes here in the line against everyone else, but... You know, it is what it is. We're all suffering here. And it should be a good war soon. Uh, you're going to be offensive. Yeah, it would be offensive in a, a Panzer expert, so. That's the way we want to go, and that's the way we will go, so. We need some chromium and steel, because we do want to make a dreadnought, but do we have any ships? Oh, yeah, we, oh we're training ships. Yeah, I never know what the AI is going to do to set this stuff all up. Do you have anyone else here? No, that doesn't really look like it. Well, we'll see what happens. And more divisions, please. We got some five whole day arenos. And a national army, of course. Uh, minim coordinated minimum resistance, federalist resistance, mob activity. We've got mass social resistance. We've got Jimmy Crowey. We've got... Oh, and there they go. We do have the rifle government, which is good. And we have fighting for the car. So now we've got some military factories to use. Um, we're going to go all the way up to that one. We're going to go up to at least two tanks. And we're going to go up to that one and right there, too. Ah, it's going to save just in case. Guys, honestly, in this episode, the goal is to get the Civil War done. So we'll probably 
bing bong and sping bong from here to there. Like, and by that means, um, I'm just like, you just take Chicago. I just want Chicago. New Liberia. Cool. Oh, yes, sir. Take the land if you can and go and do this as well. We are at war with all these goddamn entities, which does suck or he knows, but what else are we going to do about it? Except complain. Anywhere we can move. I really want to take Charleston because that'd be a good supply hub, so. Don't know if we can. Richmond would be nice, too. Actually, over here would be very nice if we could grab Norfolk. I kind of doubt it. The AI is usually pretty good at rushing soldiers into here. I could take Richmond as well. I'm not focused on these guys at all. Wait, who do we peace out with? Oh. Probably nobody. Oh, uh, our, our the Constitution American Republic Congress convenes if you're going to go that place, go ahead. Go get theirs. Go, tank boys, go. Oh, crap, they found us. Oh, come on, man. So close to Chicago. But they, they threw in quite a few divisions, which does suck. Honestly, we could probably push this way. Take all of Indiana if possible. Of course, now we have no political power either, which does suck, so. Um, there we go. What's next? Eight divisions in North Carolina? That'd be good. Bad eight divisions would be awesome. We didn't get quite Richmond yet, but that's alright. Help him out. Going as well. Hey, Richmond's ours. And awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. We're gonna need quite a few divisions here. Ooh, now they're attacking us too, which is not good. That's a full strength division, though. Should be able to win here at least. Can you see Canada? Uh, see the last game you wanted to build up? Go ahead. If you're about the New England declares independence, please go right ahead, as if it was 1776 all over again. Oh, a fall. Wow. Well, that's not good. If we really need more guns, we can lower these two. That's fine. Come on. Take it, take it. How are you not able to take this yet? There you go. That's good. Yeah, which means you guys should really do this too. But we're to do a couple focuses and then just try to do a lot of this off screen as well. Come on, take Charleston. Bros. Brosifs. Oh, and the American United States are starting to attack us too. But we're doing, in general, pretty okay against them. It's definitely a mixed bag right now, but we'll see. Divisions that we wanted to help us out have arrived, which is great, 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 great. Do you mind just going that way? You might be able to do okay if you do that. Roanoke. Not bad. But we will see. Okay, so after the National Army, of course, it's going with patent strategy. Um, probably immediately just do tank commission, because we can use tanks and stuff like that. So it's imperative that we use the information from the battles to design better tanks. The enemy has a show in surprising speed and enlarging their sheer size to meet our armor upgrades. We can, and, ooh, that's not bad to do. Industrial contacts. 35 days, motorized men. Not bad. Cavalry tomorrow. We do get some tanks immediately. Um... A cost reduction for mobile warfare, which we will do. So, cavalry tomorrow. Bands long been a cavalry officer, and his designs and plans to transform motorized and tanks into modern form of cavalry. Working closely with the government, the military, Henry Ford, and other industrialists, we can make this plan a reality. Motorized men. Bands plan requires our tanks breakthroughs are accompanied by waves of motorized infantry, able to quickly flank the enemy positions and cut them off from reinforcements as their infantry cleans off the pockets. Streamline tank production. Tanks are fairly compl complex machines to produce, and this has caused several su severe supply issues at the front. As every tank is that is disabled or breaks down means weeks, if not months, of waiting for the tank crew to be back into action again. In order to solve this, we shall streamline tank production so that our crews may stay in combat and have a replacement waiting in case anything goes wrong. Focus on swiftness. Modern warfare has come a long way since the trenches that once plagued the Western Front. Fast advances with tanks followed by motorized units is now not a dream, but a necessity of a successful fighting force, and as such, our nation's army should be at the forefront of this development. Industrial contacts. One area where both the socialists and industrials outnumbered us was, of course, industri industry itself. Military industrial contracts will help rectify this for the future. American automobile industry. Since the invention of the automobile has been taken up with earnest by the people of America, 
Well, most of the factories for cars are in the north where the syndicalists are running things. However, Henry Ford has moved south, so we should encourage other companies to follow in his footsteps. And here we are, everyone, which we are actually retreated a little bit, but we're doing a lot, quite a bit better. Here are the Cal Sheets, 420,000 losses. We've got over 300, uh, over 100 million dead. But we've got a couple of focuses. With the ongoing debate in the U.S. Army spanning for nearly two decades, it continues still. The Air, Air Corps officers that defected to our side promises great results if we separate the Air Branch from the Army. The Constitutional American Air Force shall be formed and will have to decide its future plans. Wayland Reform Plan. R.P. Wayland has managed to reach uh, the higher echelons of command recently due to a mix of both nepotism and skill and has proposed a reform plan which is clearly welcomed by the Army leadership. In his view, the Army's Air Force role or Air Force role in the war should be able to support the Army's advances via close air support with all the theoretical approaches sound and the final decision rests with the government. Air to ground combat coordination exercises. In order to come out of the battlefield with an effective cast Air Force, we need to first practice the basics of this relatively new concept of warfare. Close, close air support model development. The Army's request for more ground support while traversing the trenches our enemies have erected as an equal partner. And the Air Force approves the request. Uh, expand the Air Corps Tactical School. We're lucky now that the American Army in the past relegated air officers trained in the Deep South and now possess access to installations and officers from the Air Corps. Uh, tactical School in Maxwell Field, Alabama. However, in order to pass the school set up in Langley Field in Virginia, we need to expand our installations. Flexible bomber development. Since the Air Force has the task of supporting the Army, the bombers of our Air Force will have to adapt a variety of roles, close to both air support as well as interrupting enemy supplies and communications in the rear during a battle, which should encourage the development of planes that may fulfill these roles. Combined Arms Offenses While air, air officers stand at the ready and issue the resume once more that impedes the progress of our force, Army officers don't exactly know how to exploit our air power to the fullest potential. As such, we shall have to teach them to coordinate both their infantry mechanized vehicles with their planes in order to create an unstoppable offenses. Bomber Development Bombers of the to behold will enable us to project our powers overseas. Our secret project also hinges on effective and safe bombers to deliver the secret payload. Fighter development. American fighter projects were halted during the 20s due to a lack of funding from the government, leading to a disadvantage in fighter development. We must close this gap by funding a design contest among different companies, with the prize being obtaining a very profitable production contract for the plane that may outperform our enemies. Airfield expansion. The first airplanes were flown in the south. We have long have a tradition of aviation here, and we should embrace it. Let's expand our airfields and make sure that we have fires, bombers, and transport planes so that we can win any war in the sky. Radar development. Radar, the top secret technology to detect air movement, will allow our sky watches to rest easy at night. Screaming Eagles program. With the ever-growing presence of our Air Force and ever-growing needs of the battlefield, questions arisen between our Army and Air Force officers. Could it be possible to combine the two to transport troops behind the battlefield in a manner that may change the face of the battle? In order to prove or disprove this theory, an experiment shall be undertaken. Enable bomber development. The shore companies of our Navy for protecting our shores. The Air Force has a duty to also protect the shores of our nation for whatever cost against any enemy who dares set foot in our homeland. As such, we will seek to complement our Navy's patrols with naval bombers scouting and intercepting any vessels whenever our fleet is too spread too far out or too far away to do so. As we continue to defend, as the American Union state is now collapsing. All right, everyone. So here we're at. It's 1941 because I'm not a great person at trying to end the Civil War as legitly as possible. But here we're at. The, the Entente's gone to war with the Pacific States of America? Maybe? No, maybe not. Well, Mexico's at war with them. Um, just Mexico, okay. Just Mexicans. Social Democrats versus Social Democrats. But whatever. We trapped all, all, quite a few divisions down here, too. Um, yeah. This is really sucked. This is really sucked. We also took Sacramento as well. It was very nice. The world's kind of falling apart. Uh, Dominion, Alaska. Um, the feds fell apart because... They, New England, well, yeah, New England, and the Ottomans war with them, so they eventually got New York City, they got New Jersey. At this point, the PSA, as you can see, well, they're not doing so great, and we're doing okay. Actually, it really helped out that we did actually use quite a few tanks. I didn't send them to California just because I don't want them to fight over the mountains, and it, it, it just no. Um, here's the world, though. Uh, Second Valkyrie gets kicked off, Belgium slowly dying. Even though the Germans are doing very, very well against the Russian Republic, um, they're led by Yusupov. There's Murkalov over here in the Far East. China's looking... Not... What the... Wait. Why do we have the Russian Republic here? Anyway, whatever. Barty Cummings looking good. Afghanistan looking really, really awesome. I love how big Afghanistan is. Uh, the Italian Federation and these guys down here too. Uh, oh! Look at this guy. Uh, the American... The Spanish Civil War is still raging on. We got another tank division, which is very nice. And we're still heading the guards down here. And killing these guys off, oh, it's very nice. They got a lot of militia divisions, which you know what? I'm okay with. If they have a lot of militia divisions, I have no problem with that. Uh, Central America, West Indies Federation is down there. Um, anything else, really? Ethiopia, Abyssinia, and the Empire is not bad. Oh, that's yeah, pretty pretty normal. Honestly, nothing too major. We've lost a lot of dudes to the Pacific States because I hate fighting over the mountainous region. But overall, it's not bad. It could be better, but, you know, whatever. Uh, Federalist militias, Red Guard militias. 
I've done all, pretty much every single focus we can do. There's scattered minimum still. Uh, Federal resistance sucks. Organized socialist resistance. Let's get rid of the socialist first. So yeah, um, I've already read all these before, so that's why I just decided to do all screen. So if you want to buy the American Navy, please go right ahead. So there's that, and then there's this one. Sorry about that, but my cat wanted to be out of the room because he's a ding dong. And then battleship research, battle cruiser research, push against Pacific, light cruiser development, expand the dockyards, sub development, ships, maritime industry, new admirals, expand the Marine Corps, urban warfare because I like this one a lot. All leg units, Semper Fi, expand the waves. Of course, we did just already did maritime industry as well, as well as America, miracle rules wise, which is very nice. Uh, land auction wise, we are done um, with the land auction with Mobile Blitzkrieg, which is actually fairly strong. We've gone with uh, Fleet and Bing, which is, we're going down that way, and we're also done with the Air Force. So, not bad. Well, we're done now. Yeah, we're already done with the Air Force. So, we need some of this. Air Sue crew, crew Bays, Crew Bays, Sewer Bays. It just takes forever to kill these guys off, which really does suck, so. Air Advisor, Cast, Cast, Research Speed, Design Cost. Huh. It's not bad. I, I like less air accidents. Air Intelligence, Daily Gain. I've never done dive bombing. Let's try with dive bombing. Dive bombing sounds like fun. What, what? We just got San Diego. Continuous strike. Air support mission efficiency. Central America's gone. Air power protection. I usually do centralized control, I think. CAG night fighting. Let's do continuous strike. What is this? Keep it joins the Rex back. No one cares. Would you like to go in? Of course, these guys are pretty thick. They're all the same. 42 combo width. I threw in some anti-tank as well, so. Sure thing, Cuba. Yay! Kill the division. And... Holy crap, why won't they die? It doesn't make I hate the American Civil War so much. It just takes so long and by the time you're done with everything, it's just like why? It's a point. I love it. Actually how much manpower do these guys have? Um these guys have still some manpower left. Alright, and Canada, how's Canada doing? Ah, uh, but the first, Germany's doing well, it looks like the Social Democrats too, look at that. Why is everyone social democratic in this campaign? Not everyone, but a lot of people are. I love by Annie Kenny. Oh, there goes the PSA. Thank God. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, I hate this. I hate it. I hate it every time we do the American Civil War. It's just... It's just annoying. It's just so annoying to do. Alright, so the end of the American Civil War now. Finally, thank God. Jesus. Actually, you know what? You never know when the Mexicans are going to strike. But they're probably happy to get Baja California back. So now we're at peace. We have, like, two ships. Because all of our sub subs sunk. Fight for America, but hey, maybe at least we can do some more focuses under Patton. Finally. Um, the end of the American Civil War. The South has indeed risen again, but this time so has the rest of the nation against those who would sub subdue it. Oh, look at that. The twin left the threats along, and hey, would have been crushed, and as a bank aligned with the uh, old government, these threats to the American way of life have been destroyed, and now it's time to set what was once wrong and built where rebellious nation was meant to be. Down with the chairs and up with the stars. Under Patton. End of the world stage. Oh, we could do that immediately. I like that idea. Uh, let's go rebuild the country first, maybe? No, hold on. The South won this time. You wonder about that, please go ahead. Hey, we're all in our robes together. Sounds like fun. Um, old blood and guts. Uh, let's do nationalist restoration. Oh, yeah. Americans have not felt patriotic towards old nation in a long time. Well, this will change with the uh, advent of a new nation. No longer will Americans be ashamed of the country they were born in. We will foster a sense of nationalism that has never been seen before. And through this, we'll begin to restore what was once a great civilization. Oh, heck yeah. Oh, we need to still reclaim other stuff, stuff too, which is not bad. Um, yeah. Oh, crap. We're still, oh. Even, I've built a lot up down here. Like, it's really not bad, actually, at all. What we've been able to build up. Anyway, with that, we're going to need quite a bit of chromium. So, let's get it from Cuba, since it's not too far away. We'll go like that. Time of research. Thank you. 1941, of course. Yeah, I'm not really great at doing the American Civil War deal, but, you know, whatever. Ooh, actually. Quest American voting rights? Sure. Why not? Now that there's one America... We should request that our voting rights and delegation council be restored to us, and they vote against us. American Legion appointment. With the end of the Civil War comes a vacancy in the ever-important position of the American Legion's national commander. This last title holder, Smedley Butler, foolishly side of the cynicalists. Whoever takes this position will symbolically represent the veterans of the U.S. Army, or military in general, and society, and thus a choice is important. A common name floated up to General George Mosley, although his alliance with the national corporatist, corporatists make him somewhat controversial among others. Of course, a more popular choice is George Patton himself, despite not being terribly diplomatic. Some NDWL members dispute both these choices and claim their man, Wicked Draper, as they're in the position. Who shall do it? Draper. Wait, why do we get Draper now? Because he does a mass assault doctrine, but... We're going to go with George Daddy Patton. And embrace the Wild West. Combat the Minutemen. Sure, why not? 
The style shares a lot of characteristics with the old stereotypical Wild West, and it actually really does. We should take these similarities from the Hollywood world and extend them to our world. Certain parts of our message have appeal out west, and sometimes even more so than they do in the south. More importantly, a ground to advance west will help us eliminate remaining longest descent and block, who block our way to the Pacific. We're getting this stuff done fast. I love it. Getting more naval doctrine? I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. The ODP grows? Oh, I love Jackson. Jackson. Jacksonian presidency. A Jacksonian era? Sounds like fun to me. All blood and guts last America standing. It's beginning to dawn upon American citizens that the Civil War is over. The scars from fire will last a long time, but it seems as if the feelings already started to sink in. Any chance to change America's destiny further is past. We are now forever and more the Constitution of American Republic, and the world should know that. So, awesome. Old bl blood and guts. George S. Patton is coming back to power in America. Known for his hard but down to earth approach to leadership, he now hopes to translate his experience to running the whole country. As such, he plans to put the whole country through a program not dissimilar to one of his men would go through during training in hopes that this will put America on the right track. Only tell until this will succeed, though. The National Revival. If you're uh, Capital America first, though, so, well, the American Civil War over, the question should be brought up will it be the capital for New America? Well, of the many cities within the country, four of the most promising, what city would be chosen? Well, I kind of like Richmond, but that's for like another southern, really southern playthrough, I think. I'm just going to keep it in D.C. for now. It's a swamp pit, but you know. With well, the Civil War over, there are rigorous debates about how we should move towards the nation. One of these debates is formed around the creation of a new national holiday. More conservative members of the ODP as well as the NDW have argued that March 31st should be a holiday to come memorate the end of the Reconstruction of the South. As the original date was March 31st, 1877. But the modern wing of the ODP, supported by the Fords, have instead noted that we should promote a national American culture now that the American Civil War is over, and that such a holiday can anger Americans in other regions. They believe that the end of the Second Civil War should be a holiday instead, as it could serve as a holiday that everyone should, would celebrate. The clash between these two factions has been heated, and seemingly a small decision will have wide ramifications for how governments proceed. What should we do? Promote Southern culture? I love that idea so much. New national identity, though. Everyone is going to be Southerner. Everybody. Whether they like it or not. Including everyone in, on the West Coast. But well, whatever. whatever. Will that push cowards? Ooh. Hopefully that goes away eventually. Patent speech. White crosses. Oh, yeah. Visit the soldiers is a good idea. Separate but equal. Kick insurgents. Nice. National discipline. I like that, too. New tank forces. Oh, yeah. Lessons of history. I should research more tank stuff. It's already 41. We need more uh, research slots, too. Not bad. The slap heard nationwide. <laughs> Restore the initiative. Organize, reorganize political parties. Unbroken spirit. Small town America. Traitorous Reds. Oh yeah. Fight, fight mis, misogynation. I always say that one, that word wrong. Small town America. Well, I definitely work in small town America. I need to do a, I'll put some of these other paths too. Sometimes sounds like fun. Voting rights. I don't think they'll give us voting rights. Well, we'll probably just jump to partial mobilization as fast as we can. So that's really the goal. Pretty much always the goal. Nice, get her done. Get her done. There you go, we got it done. Nice. Build some roads too, because you might as well. Um, actually, one thing that's very surprising right now is that usually after the American Civil War is over, we usually don't get to do anything about this stuff. Like, usually these divisions are like de deleted, I think. Could be wrong about that, but. Oh, no wonder those motorized suck. They're not that good. Old blood and guts. Car motorized, not bad. But I like them a little thicker. Who doesn't like them a little thicker? The thicker, the better. The more motorized, the better. The more fuel we have, the better. This is America, after all. Um, engineers. I want some artillery. Um, throw on some motorized recon. That's fine. Throw on some logistics, just in case. And you know what? Get some extra tank. Old blood and guts. Oh, we'll do the ODP grows. If you want to control the country, the old Democratic parties will need to expand its base outside the South. Once that one area that is ripe for expansion is the old Federalist Territory. Our kin in Virginia will be quick to embrace the ODP. Now that we control Washington, we can grow, grow there as well, destroying federal troubles once and for all. The potential scandal. The Bureau of Information has come across some rather disturbing information regarding and relating to the Grand Dragon of Indiana, where I live, D.C. Stevenson. Stevenson has been a thorn in our ODP side for a while due to his clearly ambitious nature. I was then getting her decision to dissolve the Black Legion and the Klan. Now, however, investigators have privately relayed that what has long been rumored but never confirmed which is that Stevenson is an alcoholic, illegally a bigamist, and engages in debauchery. Much worse than what is not even rumored as he appears to be a sexual demon for whom we use his position. In Indiana, to assault women, especially POWs during the war, it will likely not be long before this becomes public, even if it's not by our uh, hand. As such, to avoid the ODP having to suffer public relations damage from association with them, we have been advised to arrest him or to have him removed more quietly. Arrest him as men. 
Uh, that could be really problematic, but... He's a, he looks like a little fat guy. I could be wrong here, but whatever. Picking a VP. George's pants has quite a dilemma facing him. He doesn't want to lead the country. While Pam believes his idea is best to recover America, he's always preferred to have leaving politics and politicians, seeing both as distasteful. Now, though, he's the important task of choosing the man, who essentially runs the day-to-day -day operations of his government and make political decisions, even if Pat has his final say on it. Pat has three men in particular in mind for the job, John and Elliot Rankin and James Francis Byrnes. Rankin is a loyal supporter of Murray, but appointing him may make it seem like we are shooting at the non-ODP members of our government. A dark horse option, Byrnes, or James F. Byrnes. A powerful South Carolinian politician who, although more modern than many of our politicians, could not be said to be a candidate favoring one faction or another. Other proposals have reached Pan's desk, ranging from forwards to the most extreme portions of the NDWL, but he has declined to endorse any of these, knowing that they would be too far too in one direction or another to effectively govern the country. But there's still the option of just picking George uh, Van Horn, Mosley instead, a contentious pick due to complaints that would lead to permanent military rule. Mosley would be a solid pick to spy his interesting views and rapid anti Semitism. Who should the president be? Oh my goodness, anti Semitism. I've got to go with that guy. DC Stevens and arrested. D.C. Stevenson and several NDWL associates have been arrested. While this caused outrage among the Indiana clan, darn it, when it was revealed that Stevenson was doing much of the controversy, was buried in buried as Indiana clans out of distance themselves. Of course, the group has fallen out of favor not only in Indiana but in surrounding states to so the NDWL's outrage in the ODP's game. Stevenson himself has already been sentenced to death, but shall we remove Governor Jackson as well? The Indiana governor, whom aligned himself with Stevenson, but now serves where his allegiance to us? Um, I want more authoritarian Democrats, so make sure he's loyal. The Traitor's Reds. Before the war, Murray learned about the Traitor's Reds that he believed that would try to ruin the nation and all we hold dear. When the Reds belt, Red Belt revolted, we, they only approved his point. Now that we've won, we should send these ideas back across to see where they came from. As for the people, well, we got something for them too. Which is very good. More encryption, better just, just by war goals time. Um, yeah. It's good overall. War propaganda would be nice, but... What would it be gross? So what do we have here? Political aftermath, which is not good. We're trying to cut down on right now. We have economic aftermath, which we'll work on probably off screen. And just a reform plan looks actually pretty pretty darn awesome. I like that a lot, actually. Point to wait and operate, but whatever. Oh, yeah, we got industrial. Co oh. We ain't got much. Okay. Sail two ships. Whole fat two ships. Oh, we got a board. Alright, so what are we lacking now? Lots and lots of material. We got plenty of guns, though. Holy crap. Uh, we can go down to probably 10. Go down to 10 there as well, maybe? We got ba enough basic light tanks. Um, did you have any upgrades? Your level 3, flight tank manager, air controller, sortie efficiency. Well, I guess that's fine to do. Fighter director. Go with fighter director. I mean, we, having really efficient planes is super important. We can still weaken the resistance for the combat, the minimum, whatever. ODP. Target them fed boys. No one likes a good fed boy. Alright, so there's that over there. I mean, we will do rebuilding all the country. But, honestly, I've done this, I've read all this before, so if you don't about this, please go right ahead. And corporate patriotism. Public works administration. Military factoritos. Rural electrification. Counterterrorism. Begin reconstruction. Uh, punch the corrupt and treacherous. Reconciliation. We'll probably won't do reconciliation. We'll probably punch the corrupt and treacherous. National Farm Bureau. Loosen them regulations, Civil Works Administration, Agricultural Exports, and building a few grants here and there, and reconstruction is over. National Education Administration, which we definitely have to do in the create the SMWIT. Yeah, so all those we'll probably do off screen. Um they fight abroad. What's over here? Our Western Brethren. We could do that. We could join the Entente. We could do Fortress of America. We could do look to the Reichs Adler? No, we can't. Joseph McCarthy, oh my goodness. Or ambitions of the state. You know what? Like normal. I'll let y'all choose. Which one should we do? I love Manifest Destiny. Should we do, obviously not this one, but can we do, should we do our Western Brethren to join the Entente? Should we do Fortress America? Or should we do Ambitions of the State? I will let you all decide for the, basically this campaign. Let me know in, in the comments below which route you would like us to see to go. Because I can't uh, support everyone's decision here, but we'll do the best we can. Of course, if you want to read about Take the Fighter Bra, please go right ahead. Military research. Which actually we might do very, very soon, because we 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 gotta get another research slot going. War bonds, of course. New arm factorinos, and new army goes rolling along. We have a lot of focuses to do. We've got a crap ton of focuses to do. Let's just get through this part. I mean this stuff is important and all, but still. 
by miscegenation, whatever it is. We uh, first observe ha firsthand what happened to the politically divided nation during the Civil War. That was a tragedy we don't wish to repeat. By ensuring separation on racial lines instead, we will ensure the country is united. And keep our heritage while we're at it. It's always good to keep your heritage in check. Always, always, always. How do you keep a laugh of Bill? I mean, I'd like to keep him. Cavalier, yeah. Oh, Robert E. Lee. Oh, please. Old Democrats, who the legacy of Jackson? Oh, God, yes. Reunite. Patton reclaims Hawaii. Re reunite with New England. I don't want to do that stuff, but I want to at least get to early mobilization. I think that would be good for us. Economic aftermath is so bad right now, though. Oh, goodness. Question of retirement. Showing his agent with the stress of leadership and constant war. Where, where he... Wearing heavily on a stalwart but aging frame, Pratt's and closest associates have urged him to ease into an honorable, well earned retirement. If he were to step down, General Mosley would lead, uh, to rise to lead in his place and expect to take the country <clears throat> into his, uh, in his own heavily martial and nativist direction. Whatever Patton decides, the nation shall respect him for it all the same, for he's one of the greatest war heroes among us. Political backstabber? I'm going to go with Patton just fine where he is. I don't want to do Mosley for now. Eventually I will, but eventually we will. Oh, we're gonna fight Mystic Nation first, that's fine. After that one's Patton's benevolence. George Oh George Patton is not gonna let the country leader. Okay. Victor the Democrats, birds Oh Oh, McCarthy's down here too. Social liberals. Sinica scare. He's a social liberal? No. Oh. Anti socialism. Christian support. A truly native America. Market-oriented economics, early white republicanism, know-nothing heritage. Thur oh, Thurman. Reaffirm the Dixocrats. Appoint colonels, crown queens. I do like me a queen. Crush Barwell rising, or ring. Victory of the Democrats. Bird presidency, power of the Bird Organization. Reverse the separate but equal policy. Second Bird Road Act. Modern antebellum economics. Sounds like fun. Favor the classic Democrats. Ah, yes. Party of some immigrants, but not all. Byrnes secures the presidency. Hardline foreign policy. Further the separate but equal policy. Judicial reform in America of justice. Cool. Southern stimulus. School lunches for all. The Southern Bloc. That sounds really cool, actually. Deal with race baiting. That sounds like fun. Also, we probably want to make more divisions, too. Go with, uh, you know what, we got we got the armies before. Why don't we just edit these divisions now? Actually, we weren't done with this one. Forty-two combo with, why not? So these tanks, we I want to get them, uh, probably mediums, eventually. Fast resistance. It seems like it, it, okay, it seems like doing this stuff does nothing. Combat the minimum. Cultural appeals, though. The influence of the South has been very strong in America since the end of the Civil War, but Patton and his advisors control much more land than what they started with. And as such, some advisors are saying that we need to change how we appeal to a wider constituency. Patton uh, always wanted to think and act decisively, quickly put forward the ideas of cowboys and that they're uh, wild of West Renos. Uh, <clears throat> as possibly appealing to all Americans, and as such, things have been staples of American culture for decades, of course. Um. Even Ford has begun to uh, adopt or to stereotype Americans as cowboys, and the image fits with Patton's view of how America should be as well. The rough, tough, but ultimately awful attitude is exactly what he sees as the American way of life, and he's eager for this to be true once again. Being a California native himself and spending much of his time in the West, Patton believes that this appeal will be successful in giving them the support they need, and perhaps have the side effect of weakening the clan's force as well. Yeehaw! You're not a true American until you dress up as a cowboy for uh, Halloween. Hollywood list. We know that Hollywood's always acted above the laws, but mere existence. And California is an attempt to dodge intellectual property laws. Moreover, it's no secret that some artists have been hoping for a syndicalist victory over a great American republic. Their folly must be stopped and their extradition prosecuted. We'll film the trials and the legality of the Republican Party, god dang Republicans. The RGOP has been tra tra traditional for the ODP. Save for, of course, this far right section of, of the got converted to the ODP, anyways. The party housed both progressive and so called conservative industrial swings that were openly anti. ODP, anti-farmer, anti-tradition for banks, for corporations, inside of the PSA, New England, and MacArthur over us, with Taft's, Landon, Republicans, and Roosevelt's all denouncing us. With the ODP dominant on nearly all levels of government, the question of whether or not to allow the party to continue to exist legally at the local level, if only for the handful of former Republicans who are aligned with us, and to avoid a potential appearance of tyranny. Most would prefer it if it was simply outlawed, however. Social liberalism. Am I America? 
I don't know. We're taking the fight abroad, even though we don't need the thing for the land doctrine. Army speed is nice, but we literally don't need that. So, uh, tanks looking not bad. Not great, but not bad. Uh, we'll probably expand it to get at least one more there. That'd be nice. And since we've got all the army speed, we don't really need to change anything there. Um, are, are you guys doing the oh yeah you are that's good that's armor nice also just jumping right here uh, would be cool but yeah I would jump to partial mobilization as well um, in the meantime we're going to need just spot more rubber right no actually we got we got more than enough rubber there right, up I, we've just been building a whole bunch. But bro, we'll do some military research and we'll probably end with something else, such as rebuilding the country. I'll do that one off screen. Uh, small town America. When Bill Murray railed against or rallied against or railed against corporations who's not talking about business or enterprise, he was concerned with banks and business tycoons come from cosmopolitan backgrounds and try to ruin the small businesses and towns of America. We'll side with the small businessman and make sure that these corporations cannot ruin the way of life. The real political aftermath of this American Civil War as small business promotion, which is great, but it's black consumption hurts our consumer goods though. Um yeah, overall. Not bad. Not bad at all. I'm not sure. Actually, we probably want to re reunite with New England, but we'll see what happens. Do we go with Mexico? Does anyone like Mexico? There you go. Do that. And we'll also try to reunite with England. But, hey, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow. When George Patton will himself personally lead the fight against a bunch of Mexicans. <laughs> and maybe even the outside. We'll see what happens. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.